My role in uh, involvement with Joy in the Harvest has been on the missions committee for about the last six to seven years. And I've just loved learning about their ministry and hearing about them through their newsletters and in our mission updates that we have at our mission committees. And then Mwenge, who is one of their directors at Joy in the Harvest, uh, had come last year before we had gone on this trip and talked about the widows and the children and the computer school. And my heart just started flourishing to wanting to be there. And so this summer we were able to go and actually witness and be part of the ministry at Joy in the Harvest in Kagoma. I see the vision and mission of Joy in the Harvest to actually let Christ be known in all that they do. And the heartbeat is through Lola and Claudia. You see their compassion and their love and their willingness to just have um, people know Christ, whether it be through a meal or through a handshake or through learning a computer class or being on the radio. Um, they have Radio Joy, which is just an amazing ministry that reaches so many for the love of Christ. I see the uh, Lord is using the evangelism through Lola and Claudia and Mwenge and Joy in the Harvest uh, with witnessing to the widows and bringing them together to worship the Lord in such a way, spreading the gospel in word and song and witness. And I was excited to be there and just do the dancing with them and how they were praising the Lord was just so amazing. I see their evangelism through the feeding center with the children. The children come to get meals three times a week and before they get their meal, they hear the word of the Lord spoken first and then the love of the people that are serving the meals and the widows that are there as well. There's two different messages that get shared each time that they're there and it's just amazing. You can tell that the children love coming. They're not only being physically fed, they're being spiritually fed as well. I also see the evangelism through the computer school. Everyone is welcome to come. It's a, a free source for them to be able to turn their life around and to learn a skill. And they're being uh, evangelized through the love that is there in the training. And then at the end of the graduation, they share the word of the Lord as well. Uh, discipleship is seen in every aspect of their ministry, including youth on Saturday mornings. Each Saturday morning at the community center, they have the youth conferencing there. And there's worship, and there's lessons, and they're learning how to actually live this out in everyday life, um, be, be, being a disciple of Christ and actually sharing that love with others and knowing how to live out that. I see that with the widows as well. I see that when they're going and having church that these women are actually discipling other women that are in their community as well. And then with the refugees, um, we got to visit the refugees when we were there this summer, and the discipling there, to know that there's churches, there's five United Methodist churches that have come together and then they're witnessing to the refugee camp there as well, making disciples. There's many ways that you can get involved to make a difference in Joy in the Harvest. You can go to joyintheharvest.com where they have a donation site there. Um, Wheatland Salem Church also donates to them through Our Faith Promise and you can donate there at wheatlandsalem.org. Um, you can go on their Facebook and like their Facebook so that others will know about them and really have conversations with uh, the Facebook posts that are there so that others can know and share your Facebook posts as well. There are many opportunities to go to Joy in the Harvest. Lowell and Claudia are absolutely the most hospitable people that I think I've ever met. And they have wonderful guest rooms right there on their site at Joy in the Harvest, where the Radio Joy is, where the classes are, and then three beautiful guest homes. So if you go there, you sign up with them and let them know that you're interested in coming. And you can really witness all the ministry that's happening there from the youth ministry, to the feeding center, to the refugees, to uh, the widows, to the computer school. There's so much that happens at Joy in the Harvest, and they want you to get involved with each and every part of it. So I was blessed to be able to go on this trip to Africa and Kagoma, Tanzania, uh, this past summer. And I would prayed quite a while about going because I knew that it was a a big expense, but yet it was going to be transforming. God kept telling me, this is going to change your life. And I was excited and yet a little bit scared <laughs> going there. And I was praying that one of my family members maybe would be able to go as well. And um, my son ended up coming home one day saying, I think I want to go to Africa. And so he and I got to enjoy this experience together going to Tanzania. And the first day that we arrived at the feeding center and saw all these children, and it's named after Lola and Claudia's daughter, Kimberly. My name happens to be Kimberly as well. 
and just seeing these children who were on the streets and maybe didn't have a home or had a little portion of a home that they were at and they were being fed three times a week just made me start crying, made my son start crying, and that we were able to connect with these kids on the first day. And so after two weeks of being there, it was just such an excitement to be able to go down and share stories. And there was a language barrier, but yet there wasn't because God is the one who is in the midst of that all, and it doesn't matter what language you speak or not. Love speaks boldly. Um, the trip for the widows for me as well was very impactful. Uh, being able to praise God in a way that we just don't do here in America by dancing and yelling out and shouting and um, you could just see their dedication to the Lord. And it's helped me at this church to help others say, let's just let loose at worship to praise God. You know, sometimes we're in that little box and put God in the little box. And there's so much more in how we can worship the Lord. And that was witnessed in Africa in such bold ways. And then at what was once called the destitute camp is now the victory camp where people who have leprosy and maybe um, loss of limbs are there. Uh, they're being cared for in such ways that you just see the joy. And it doesn't matter where they are in life, if they have money or they don't have money, if they have a hand or they don't have a hand, if they have a leg or not a leg. It's that their love for the Lord is so deep. And it teaches us so much that we think we don't have as much as maybe we're supposed to have in this world of America where it's all about the money, that having a relationship with Christ is the first and foremost thing. And being able to meet someone and just be able to touch their hand of somebody who has been experienced to be set aside and an outcast, just to have a hug and a handshake was so impactful. Um, my heart aches to be there. <laughs> each and every day because it really was that transforming and I pray for each of the people, Lol and Claudia and Mwenge and all the staff. I think what is exciting is that the people that work for Joy in the Harvest are missionaries right there in their own culture, but they're nationals of Kagoma. And so that's where discipleship happens as well. And they're living the life of being missional each and every day with the work that they're doing and seeing the impact of them with the community. The community center is this huge building and they can have government um, classes there, they can have different groups in and it really is a community center. So Joy in the Harvest is infiltrated in the community. It's not just this outsourced thing. They are living the life of, of the people of Kagoma, which is wonderful. I think the one thing that is on my heart is just knowing that Join the Harvest is there to help break the cycle of poverty by equipping people with the computer school, by breaking the cycle of um, being on the radio to witness Christ, regardless of what religion or no religion that's there. And they're really truly making an impact with millions by following a call. And if you have a call, don't, don't deny it. Follow through on that call. And if there's something with Joy in the Harvest that's touched you today, to really reach out and be part of that ministry. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.